Welcome back to our tutorial on natural indigo dyeing as we embark on volume 2. Previously, Michelle took us onto a deep dive into organic indigo vets, beginning from the basics of utilizing leaves. He shared his unique techniques, whether crafting a vet with his special compost blend, using crushed and dried leaves in a 1-2-3-4 vet process, or transforming dried indigofera leaves into various forms of extract like paste or fine powder. Yet for many enthusiasts, the indigo dyeing adventure starts with buying powdered indigo from reliable sources. The quest then becomes finding a dyeing method that meets their needs and lifestyle and respects both the crafter and the environment. With over three decades of refining organic vet techniques, Michel is here to pass on his wealth of knowledge. Look at your indigo powder. Its blue component is called indigotin, characterized by this chemical formula where oxygen atoms form double bonds with carbon atoms. Indigotin doesn't dissolve in water, but forms a suspension. This property allows for making a finer powder for painting by grinding it further and mixing it with a binder. However, the challenge arises when you wish to dye fabric necessitating the transformation of indigo into a water-soluble form. How do we achieve this? Michel's pioneering 1-2-3-4 vet process magically transforms indigo compost into a yellowish solution known as leuco-indigo deriving from the Greek term for white. This transformation requires a reduction process, essentially the reverse of oxidation, to add two hydrogen atoms to the indigo molecule. The dyeing process allows the leuco-indigo to penetrate the fibers deeply. The leuco-indigo is then reoxidized to its original insoluble blue form, indigo tin embedding the dye firmly within the fabric. This integration ensures the color's vibrancy and durability, embedding the blue deep within the heart of the fiber. Looking ahead, Michel will showcase the setup and upkeep of organic indigo vets. We'll delve into dyeing techniques for various textiles, achieving shades from deep to light blue and exploring how indigo interacts with mordants to create lasting greens and purples. But before we get hands-on, we'll introduce the ecological vet, a blend of three ingredients, indigo, a reducing agent, and an alkaline substance. Michel's approach is a modern twist on traditional methods, relying solely on organic materials, except a mineral, lime, as the alkaline backbone. We'll explore natural reducing agents from fruit rich in fructose and pectin to henna leaves and meadow roots, each offering unique properties for dye reduction. For beginners, a simple starting point is using fructose, available from a grocery store due to its practical reducing qualities. Michel will lead us through crafting a basic yet insightful 1-2-3 fructose vet, combining one part indigo, two parts lime, and three parts fructose, laying down the fundamental principles of organic bed dye. Let's give a word to Michel as he unveils his groundbreaking approach to creating a long-lasting, almost permanent organic vet. The 1-2-3 vet. So the second method to prepare indigo um, extract is the one, two, three vat. So you remember we say that in some parts of the world people did keep the matter of the leaves, the cellulose, more or less concentrated to, to get a maximum of uh, blue inside. In other parts, from the beginning of the process, people did quit the cellulose to only keep the extract, the blue extract called the indigo, indigo pigment or indigo extract. 
if you intend to prepare your vats with this type of indigo, it could be in paste or in powder, it doesn't matter, you will have a big benefit to use a simple one to three vat. So one part of indigo is diluted in very hot water together with two parts of lime and three parts of fructose. So the fructose is, the, is reacting with the lime to generate a kind of hydrogen. A little bit of hydrogen is liberated by the degradation of sugar with lime. So the indigotin, which is in suspension in the solution, is hydrogenated in a way. So it means it is put in solution. And that's it. Uh, it takes five minutes to be prepared. So what's the idealistic indigo vat for the modern dyer? It must be ecological, time and energy efficient, must be quick, quickly done, very easy to keep for long. So the preference for permanent dyes is obvious today because of the polyvalency of the modern dyers. They are not monotask or hyper-specialist persons they include the indigo vat in a whole panel of tools that they need from time to time. So they prefer, they would prefer, of course, the permanent vats and uh, keep them for long to have one ready to use at any moment of the, of the, of the year. So that's the reason why we did this uh, tutorial. So only two met a very very simple method to make the indigo from your garden plant, from your own, and two different methods to use the two types of indigo dye stuffs from leaves uh, crushed and dried or composted, the one two three four vat, or from indigo pigment indigo extract, the one two three vat. So with a minimum of cautions, like the floating lid being the most important, you will protect your vat for long and enjoy your indigo vat all along the year. Mm -hmm.